Hello, this is Alex Plus LEDs, and this is a DIY color changing LED cube kit. So there are two versions of the kit. There is a battery powered version and a USB powered version. Both of them are uh, little LED cubes that are two by two by two LEDs each. And these guys actually change color if you leave them on. First they start with red, and then they uh, change colors to other colors. And if you leave them plugged in long enough, they, uh, the LEDs fall out of sync. And this is what it looks like after it's been left on for quite a while. This is also 8 times speed. So here are the included parts. So you get one PCB. It looks like this. It has spots for resistors and a switch and a battery. You also get nine LEDs and they look like this. They are five millimeter. You get five resistors and you get some bus wire that looks like this. If you purchase the battery powered version, you get some extra parts not included with the USB only version. So you get one CR2032 battery, you get one little switch, looks like that, and you get one battery holder. And onto the tools and parts required in order to assemble this kit. So the first thing you need is some solder. You also need a soldering iron with a conical tip and helping hands. These guys hold the PCB while you're soldering. You also need some needle nose pliers to bend the LED leads. And you need some flush cutters. So let's begin. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bend the LEDs. So what you wanna do is grip the LED in your hand, and then you wanna bend the long lead over and to the left, like this. And then take pliers and then bend the long lead up but you want to leave about uh, about an eighth, eighth of an inch to a quarter inch of a gap between the end of the LED and the start of the bend. You'll see why this is needed later. So once that long lead is bent, we're going to bend the short lead down like this. And that's it. That's the whole LED bent. So the short lead also lines up with the flat side of the LED. So you want to go ahead and do that to all of the LEDs. And here are some pictures that kind of show you the same steps. So first you want to bend the long lead and then you want to bend it back up with the needle nose pliers like so. And then you want to go ahead and bend the short lead down like this. So once all the LEDs are bent, we're going to go ahead and stick them into the PCB one by one. And we're going to trim off the bent lead shorter down like this. So you want to go ahead and just trim that off, and you want to do that to all the LEDs. And once all the LEDs are trimmed, we're going to go ahead and put the LEDs into the PCB in order for the LEDs to be held while we solder them. What you want to make sure happens is the short lead that has been bent over from the top LED is touching the bottom lead of the LED so that you could solder them together. And then using your solder and soldering iron, go ahead and solder the LEDs into sets of two. So you'll do this to all the LEDs and you'll have a total of four little segments. And once all four sections have been made, what we're going to go ahead and do is cut off the little long bit there that is poking off to the side. That's actually not needed for this design. So you want to do that for all four sections. So now that the extra long bits of LED have been cut, we're going to go ahead and place them into the PCB. And then we're going to go ahead and tin the center bits of the LEDs. So here's the left one tinned and the right one tinned. You just want to get a little bit of solder on there. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is take our bus wire and solder it in between those two sections there. The tinned bus wire should easily solder two little blobs. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our flush cutters and chop off the extra bit that's hanging off to the side. And you want to go ahead and do that for both sets. So you have two little four LED sections. And once you have two units of two by two LEDs soldered, what you wanna do is take one set and load it into the PCB. And now comes the tricky part of soldering the two sections together. So they fit together kinda of like this. So before we actually solder these LEDs together, what we're gonna go ahead and do is tin the little pieces that come off the uh, LEDs. And we're only gonna do that for one section. So just load that into your helping hands and tin the little extra bits that we bent earlier. 
because we're going to solder stuff to them and just apply little blobs of solder to each of the four legs. And now what you want to do is kind of line up the LEDs like so. It's kind of tricky to do. It might take you a couple tries to get all the little LED pins lined up. But once you do, what you want to go ahead and do is just grab your soldering iron and heat up the uh, solder and it should solder right to the leg of the LED. It might take a couple tries to heat up the solder, but once you do, it should solder pretty easily. And you want to do that for all four LEDs. So here's the back two. I just did the front two and here's the back two being soldered. And it's a little bit finicky to do, but it's not that hard. So there we have it. There's four solder connections made. And if it's a little bit crooked, you can always heat up the solder and bend the LEDs a little bit more in order to get them completely straight. But in my case, they turned out okay. So now we're going to take our flush cutters and we're going to chop off the little soldered bits. You want to make sure you leave the long leads intact because we're going to solder those into the PCB. But you only want to just trim off the ones we soldered onto from the top layer of LEDs. Hopefully that makes sense. And we're also going to trim off as much as possible of the little bits that stick off to the side. Now we're going to move on to tinning the little bus wire that's connecting each set of LEDs. So you want to add a little blob to each one of the bus wires, like you see here. And then we're going to go ahead and solder another piece of bus wire. There's the top soldered, and here's the bottom soldered. And then you want to make sure you don't cut the little center wire out that you soldered on, because that's going to go into the PCB. So here we have it. That's the whole um, little LED matrix assembly bit. So now that the LEDs are soldered, we're going to move on to the PCB. So first we're going to solder the resistors and just bend them into U-shape and load them into the PCB. And they're all the same, so it doesn't matter what order you put them in. Uh, it doesn't, they're not polarized, so just kind of load them in there. And then go ahead and solder the resistors on the reverse side. And they're pretty easy to solder. They're pretty far apart. So once the resistors are soldered, we're going to go ahead and trim off the extra bits of uh, wire that are poking through the PCB. So now that the resistors have been soldered, we're going to move on to soldering the LEDs. First, we're going to take the long wire here, and we're going to go ahead and jam that into the little pad with a little minus on it. And then we're going to go ahead and put all the extra leads of the LEDs into the spots marked A, B, C, and D. And once you get that into place, it might take a little bit of wiggling, we're going to go ahead and solder each one of the wires that we poked through. So here's the LEDs soldered, and the little bit of bus wire soldered. And if it's a little bit crooked, you could always heat up the pads and then push the LEDs in a little bit more, as I'm doing here, to make it just a little bit more neat. And once you've aligned all the LEDs, just use your flush cutters to chop off the extra little bits that are poking through the PCB. And there you have it. You could plug that into USB port and all the LEDs should light up. I would recommend realigning all the LEDs to make sure that they're not kind of crooked and off to the side. This might take a little bit of doing, but it's pretty easy to do. Those are all the steps required for the USB powered version, and now on to the extra steps required for the battery powered version. So the first thing you want to do is break off the little USB connector there, and there's a bunch of holes there to make it easier to break, but you still can't do it by hand. So what I recommend doing is grabbing some pliers and some flush cutters and just cutting straight through that. Once that's broken off, I recommend cleaning up the edges of the PCB there where the connector was with some flush cutters. Now we're going to tin a pad of the PCB so we could solder the switch to it. So there I've tinned a pad and then I'm just going to heat up the solder again and kind of flow it to the contact of the switch. And I'm going to solder the other two pads there too. Moving on to the battery holder. So just line up the battery holder with the stencil on the back side of the PCB. And once that's lined up, go ahead and solder the two pins. And once those are soldered, go ahead and grab your battery and load it into the battery holder. And it might light up if you have the switch flipped on. But if it doesn't, just flip the switch and the LEDs should light up. So you start with red, they then go to green, and then they progress forwards to show you all the different colors. So that's it for the video tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you prefer a PDF tutorial, just check the description. There's a little PDF that I made that shows all the steps with pictures and just descriptions of all the steps. Also, keep watching this video for a pretty long clip of the color changing LED cube if you want to know what it looks like, not fast forwarded.
Thank you.